The Karoo is a hidden treasure of biodiversity where fertile valleys, semi-arid desert, and majestic mountains converge to generate a major agricultural heartland and a burgeoning tourist economy. When Jonathan Deal heard that Shell Oil had targeted the Karoo as the perfect location for shale gas extraction, he took a hard look at what it would cost the region and its people. Very special places like this in Africa are very much under threat. A valley like this would be populated with drilling rigs. The scarring of the landscape and the noise and dust and light pollution would simply destroy it. It would drive away game, it would interrupt farming activity, and those are some of the things that we're fighting to protect. Before the fracking controversy emerged, Jonathan's home base was a small ecotourism lodge where he had immersed himself in authoring a book on the region's history and culture. He had no previous grassroots experience, but he wholeheartedly took on the role of spokesman for the anti-fracking movement in South Africa. There is an upward flow of water in the Karoo. It can be... He vehemently challenged Shell's plan through a media and social networking campaign, public debates and lectures, and ultimately, through legal action against Shell. I think in terms of stopping the advent of fracking in this country, it became very clear to us that the stronger way to attack this would be through the courts. Our constitution guarantees the right for every single person in this country to live in an environment that is not harmful to their health and well-being, and it provides for the protection of the environment for future generations. Jonathan's ever-expanding constituency of some 100,000 participants includes farmers whose families have been working this land for generations. Water is a great issue for farming here in the Karoo. All the lands have to come into the cultivated fields to give birth, and we need water for that. Without it, we can't raise sheep or vegetables, and our whole operation will go under. That's why we've all stopped buying any shell oil products in protest. In 2011, after months of personal and financial sacrifice, Jonathan's pressure on the South African government resulted in a nationwide moratorium on all shale gas exploration. Having kept fracking out of South Africa for two years, the fight will most certainly lead to a legal battle in the highest court in the country. This issue has got the potential to unite communities across a common goal, against a common enemy. The most important ingredients in our fight against fracking is simply our determination and our consistency, and the fact that we speak the truth. For Outstanding Environmental Achievement in Africa, the 2013 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Jonathan Deal, the Karoo, South Africa. <laughs>